Hello everyone and welcome back. From the previous session itself, we have been learning about the instruction types which involve the subtraction operation. Continuing that streak, today we are going to learn about the instruction types SBBR and SBID8. So without any further ado, let's get to learning. Coming to the topics that we are going to cover in this session, at first we will learn about the instruction type SBBR and thereafter we will learn about the instruction type SBID8. So let's begin with the first instruction type, SBBR. Coming to the instruction type SBBR, it stands for subtract with borrow contents of R from accumulator. So one of the operands of this operation will be inside the accumulator register and the other operand will be in the location specified by R. And once the operation has been performed, the result of the subtraction will also be stored in the accumulator. Now you must be wondering, we do understand subtract contents of R from accumulator, but what is this with borrow? Now in order to make you understand this, let me give you an illustration. We the users, we may come across certain situations where we need to perform subtraction involving multiple bytes. Say we would like to subtract 1 to F2 from 3, 4, 5, 6. If you notice carefully, these are both hexadecimal four digit numbers which are 16 bits each in binary. So clearly, this is 2 byte, this is also 2 bytes. Now let me perform the subtraction at first, thereafter we will get into the technicalities. Now if we subtract 2 from 6, the result is going to be 4. Let's focus on the next part, that is, subtraction of f from 5. Now clearly, the minuend in here is lesser than the subtrahend. So we need to borrow from the next place. Now if we borrow 1 from here, it will be 3. And this will be 1, 5. Now from 1, 5, we are going to subtract f. Let's focus on this particular part of the subtraction. Now, 1, 5 is in hexadecimal. So, considering the place values, 5 has the place value 16 raised to the power 0. 1 has the place value 16 raised to the power 1. Now, you already know how to convert this into equivalent decimal. With 1, we will multiply 16 raised to the power 1. That is, the place value of this digit. And if we do so, we will have 16. Thereafter, with this value, we are going to add something. And the value which will be added will come if we multiply 5 with 16 raised to the power 0. Now, the place value 16 raised to the power 0 is 1 actually. And multiplying that with 5, we will have 5. Now, we have converted this into decimal. All we need to perform is the addition. So 16 plus 5 will give us 21. So clearly, 21 of decimal is 1, 5 in hexadecimal. Now coming to F, in decimal we have 15 for this. Let's perform the subtraction now. 21 minus 15 will give us 6. So the result of the subtraction 1, 5 minus F is also 6. Let's now get back to our actual problem. Now, since we borrowed 1 from this place, it became 3. Now, from 3, if we subtract 2, we will have the result as 1. Finally, 3 minus 1 will give us 2. So, the result of the subtraction 3, 4, 5, 6 minus 1, 2, F2 is 2, 1, 6, 4. Now, we are going to perform this entire operation using 8085 microprocessor. And in that process, I'll make you understand what this instruction will do. But for now, let's decode the instruction SBBR. First of all, this also falls under the category of one byte long instructions. And by far, I believe you already have got this idea that whenever with the mnemonic we are mentioning R, all of those instructions, they fall under the one byte long category. Only if we are mentioning address or data, then the size of the instruction gets changed. Anyway, let's now learn about the different instructions of this type. 
as you all know already, since we are mentioning capital R, the instructions are going to be SBBA. Then in place of A, we will include all the different GPRs, all the general purpose registers. So B, C, D, E, H and L will also be there. And along with these all, we will also consider the memory element which will be pointed by the HL register pair. Now let's get back to our illustration. This is the subtraction that we performed. Now as you can notice, these were 16-bit numbers. But in case of 8085 microprocessor, we can only perform the operations on 8-bit values. So what does that mean? Within 8085, can't we perform this subtraction? Well, we can. But we will have to do that in parts. At first, this part will be taken care of. So clearly, at first, the subtraction of these two 8-bit numbers will be done. And for that, let's use the registers accumulator and the general purpose register B. Now say within the accumulator, we are going to load the value 5, 6. So let's do that. Now coming to the subtrahend F2, let's load that inside the general purpose register B. Now in order to perform the subtraction, we will use the instruction SUBB. And this is the instruction which we have learned in the previous session. So executing this instruction, we are going to perform the operation 5, 6 minus F2. Now in the previous session itself, I told you, subtraction is not performed in case of 8085 microprocessor. Rather, addition is performed after converting the subtrahend into 2's complement form. And since we are using hexadecimal notations in here, so we will convert that to 16's complement. Now in order to convert F2 into 16's complement, the least significant hexadecimal digit will be subtracted from 1, 0. And if we subtract 2 from 1, 0, we will have the result as E. Now coming to the most significant hexadecimal digit, it is going to be subtracted from F. And from F, if we subtract F, it will be 0. So the 16's complement of F2 is 0E. Now the addition will be performed. Now with 6, if we add E, think about the addition, it is 6. If we take 1 from here and add that with E, it will become F. So with F, we are adding 5. So as the sum, we will have 1 less than 5, that is 4, and there will be a carry. Here we are making use of the shortcut formula that we have learned. Now with 1, if we add 5, the result is going to be 6. Now this 8-bit result, or in other words, 2-digit hexadecimal value, is going to be loaded within the accumulator register. Now the outcome of the operation is going to affect the flags register as well. Now notice one thing. The result of the operation is negative. And why so? We performed subtraction, but we never generated any carry. So if we send this to the carry flag via the inverter, and this is done since we were performing the subtraction, the carry flag will be set. This indicates, in order to perform the subtraction, we had to borrow. And let me clarify this to you. Within the flags register, the carry flag is also treated as the borrow flag during the subtraction operation. So when the carry flag is set, it is known that in order to perform the subtraction, borrow was needed. Now the subtraction of this part or the least significant two digits part is done. Let's now focus on the next part. Now here, the minuend is 3, 4 and the subtrahend is 1, 2. So within the accumulator, let's load 3, 4. And since in the previous operation, we made use of the B register, so in order to load the subtrahend, which is 1, 2 in this case, let's now use the register C. So let's load 1, 2 in there. Now remember from the previous operation, the carry flag was set. So we are going to consider this as well because it is a part of this entire operation. Now in order to perform the subtraction in this part, we will have to execute the instruction SBBC. Now why C? 
because the subtrahend is loaded inside the general purpose register C. So we are going to perform the operation 3, 4, minus 1, 2. But remember, the carry flag is already set. So we can add that to the subtrahend and make it 1, 3. Notice what we did in here. Previously from 3, 4, since we borrowed 1 in pen and paper method, we made 3, 4, 3, 3. Now in here, instead of making 3, 4, 3, 3, due to the presence of the carry from the previous operation, we are changing the subtrahend. From 1, 2, we are making it 1, 3. Basically, either we subtract 1 from the minuend or we add 1 to the subtrahend, they both mean the same. I hope this is clear to you. Now let's focus on the process. As I told you earlier, in case of 8085, no subtraction is performed. Rather, we perform addition using 2's complement process. So for this, we need to convert 1, 3 into its equivalent 16's complement. So from 1, 0, we will subtract 3 and from F, we will subtract 1. Now from 1, 0, if we subtract 3, it will result in D. Think about it. 1, 0 of hexadecimal is 16 in decimal. So subtracting 3 from 16, we will have 13 which in case of hexadecimal is D. And the most significant digit in this subtraction was 1. So subtracting 1 from F, we will have E. Now we can proceed ahead with the addition. So with 4 if we add D, think about it. Since we are adding D with 4, if we take 2 from here and add that with D, this will become 2 and this will become F. So with F we are adding 2 and in the result we will have 1 and there will be 1 carry. We are still making use of the shortcut process that we have learnt. Now with 1, if we add E, it will become F and with F if we add 3, we will get the result as 1, 2. I hope you understood this. With E, we added 1, so E became F. Now with F, if we take 1 from 3, 3 will become 2 and F will become 1, 0. Now with 1, 0, if we add 2, it will be 1, 2. Now notice, the outcome of the process is a positive value. And these two digits, which is 2, 1 in here, will be loaded after the operation within the accumulator register. And since we generated a carry, and we are basically performing subtraction, it will be fed to the carry flag through the inverter. So the carry flag will be reset. Notice, the outcome is 2, 1, which we were supposed to get. So this is how, using SBBC in this case, we can perform this part of the subtraction. Remember, the instruction type SBBR falls under the one byte long instructions category and we use this instruction type whenever we need to perform a subtraction with the help of a borrow. So that was all about the instruction type SBBR. Let's now learn about the instruction type SBID8. Coming to the instruction type SBID8, it stands for subtract with borrow immediate from accumulator. So one of the operands will reside inside the accumulator and the other operand will be sent as the data of 8-bit via the instruction itself. And since the data of 8-bit is being sent via the instruction itself, it falls under the immediate addressing mode. Now notice, the mnemonic SBI will require 8-bit and we are sending additional 8-bits of data. So this entire instruction falls under the 2-byte long instructions category. Now let me illustrate how this will work. Well, this is going to work similar way to the previous instruction, but the only difference is, this time we are sending the data in immediate addressing mode. So let's suppose within the accumulator register, we have got the value 33, and now we are about to execute the instruction SBI F3H. And before this instruction is executed, 
the carry flag will have to be set. Now why this is needed? Because we are performing subtraction with borrow in immediate from accumulator. So the accumulator should have one operand. We are sending another operand via the instruction, but we still need the borrow, so the carry flag will have to be set before the instruction is executed. So we are going to perform the operation 33 minus F3H, but since the carry flag is set, we will add this value to the subtrahend, so this will become F4. Now, just like I already told you multiple times, in 8085, we don't perform subtraction, we will perform addition. So we need to subtract 4 from 1, 0 of hexadecimal and f from f in hexadecimal. So subtracting 4 from 1, 0, that is 16, we will have 12, which is c in case of hexadecimal, and subtracting f from f, we will have 0. Now the addition can be performed. So 3 plus c, which in case of decimal is 12, will give us 15, which in hexadecimal is f. Now 3 plus 0 will give us 3. Now this outcome 3f after the operation is going to be loaded inside the accumulator register. Now notice, during this operation, we never generated a carry, so that will mean it's a negative value. And in order to indicate this situation, the carry will be fed to the carry flag via the inverter. So the carry flag due to this operation will be set. And this is how the instruction type SBI D8 will function. Remember, SBI D8 stands for subtract with borrow, immediate, that is the data we are sending via the instruction from the accumulator and the borrow will be specified by setting the carry flag before we execute the instruction. Also, this instruction falls under the 2 byte long instructions category. And that's all about the SBI D8 instruction type. So in this session we cover the topics, instruction type SBBR and the instruction type SBI D8. SBBR falls under the category of 1 byte long instructions, whereas SBI D8 falls under the category of 2 byte long instructions. Alright people, that will be all for this session. In the next session, we are going to learn about couple of more arithmetic instructions. So I hope to see you in the next ones. Thank you all for watching.